Hello friends, uh, welcome to yet another video on an IIBF exam. In this particular video, I will take you through Certified Treasury Professional Examination conducted by IIBF. Uh, let me tell you that this examination should not be confused with the CTP exam, uh, which is uh, conducted by AFP and it is uh, basically a international certification program from USA, right? So uh, in this particular uh, video, I will talk about uh, this program of IIBF, which you can write online. So the exam has uh, two components, basically. One component can be written on online, but let me first take you through uh, what is the need for this certification and why this was started. So as per I IIBF, uh, you know, uh, treasury professionals uh, are provided with hands-on training within the organization followed by the board's program conducted by training bodies, right? So basically, uh, there is a uh, training that treasury professional gets, uh, rather get when they are on the job and they also kind of go through a training where they can, you know, do transactions, right? So these transactions are kind of dummy transactions that you can do and you can understand how the market works. Uh, but in spite of that, it has been noticed that uh, if there is no appropriate course, that is what IABF says, the competence level of treasury professional varies significantly, which at times impact the overall treasury functioning in financial market. So one important thing to note here is that even if you learn something on the job, you will actually learn a part of the overall, you know, uh, treasury, right? So you cannot uh, work in front office, middle office, back office. You cannot work in multiple products. You cannot do SLR, non-SLR, you know, securities uh, uh, transactions and many other things which are part of treasury. For example, you cannot be in the risk team. At the same time, you cannot be a dealer. All those things are very important. So. Uh, basically, treasury is a huge area as far as the banking is concerned or the financial institutions are concerned. You have so many functions within treasury, so many activities that treasury does and it's a very critical department for uh, a bank particularly and also for financial institutions. Of course, uh, people would say that corporates also have treasury, but this particular exam does not cover the corporate treasury part. So I'm not talking about that here. One more important thing that you must note is that if you are aspiring to have a career in treasury, uh, it's good to have uh, or rather it's good to, you know, at least study uh, the course material of this exam, uh, especially if you have already joined a bank and you want to be in treasury and learn more about treasury so that, you know, you have the required academic understanding of what treasury is and then this exam will definitely be helpful for you. Others. Uh, suppose you are teaching, uh, you know, in the area of treasury and you want to get a very structured, systematic knowledge about how the treasury operates in India, then this program can also be very helpful for you. So the next part, which is equally important to know, is that in order to get this certified treasury professional certification from IIBF, you need to write an online exam, which will be for 100 marks. And, uh, you know, it is uh, going to be multiple choice. So first you have to pass that exam. That's an online exam. So you can write it from, you know, uh, the comfort of your home. You need to have a computer which needs to have certain, uh, you know, configuration in terms of its RAM and camera and other details that you can check. Okay. And you also need to undergo after that a classroom training for three days at uh, pre-announced center. So this notification will come from the IIBF. So once you have cleared the exam and they have their details uh, that you have cleared the exam, they will keep on notifying you. Plus you can also go to the website of IIBF and keep on checking when this classroom training is being held. So most important thing for you is one, pass the exam. Remember there would be no negative marking. So that's a good thing because if there's negative marking, the probability that uh, you will attempt uh, you know, those questions which you do not know will be, uh, will be very 
less right but in in absence of negative marking you can attempt all the questions that's the good part of it uh, having spoken about methodology i would just suggest you because in video we cannot you know make it very extensive i would suggest you that you go to iibf's website and you know check the details of uh, other aspects um, uh, related to the exam which is very detailed out in their document having said that let me tell you that uh, uh, examination aspects are that examination is conducted in english only obviously treasury has many concepts uh, which are difficult to be translated in other language not impossible but difficult you need to work on that and then provide that particular solution to the participants so till then it's going to be in english that's why this video is also in english and i'm sure it's very easy for you to understand what i'm speaking so if you can understand that you can surely understand uh, the the um, you know content that this particular module has now a uh, question paper will contain 100 objective type questions including situation analysis problem based question for total of 100 marks uh, the exam will be held online and there will be no negative for long marks. The duration of the exam will be two hours. So basically in two hours time you have to attempt these 100 questions. Uh, some of these questions may also be calculation based. So you need to have a you know, a calculator with you. Typically that is provided uh, on the online, uh, you know, uh, uh, what you call as the online module or online uh, um, link that you get from IABF that you need to install. So you will have a calculator there where you can use that, right? Now having said that, uh, let us move to the next part. Uh, what exactly is the coverage of this program? So the coverage is really good, I would say. Uh, and that's why I say that this can be um, you know, attempted by those people also, who are not from Treasury, but want to learn Treasury. Please don't attempt it as a program that would give you uh, an opportunity to get employed somewhere. No, it's not that way. It is, let me repeat, one, for those people who are working in treasury and those who aspire to be in treasury. But that aspiration does not mean that this is a prerequisite or this is a qualification that you need to have to enter treasury. You can just learn this entire module, you know, get that required knowledge and use it for your advantage. So what all we cover, we cover financial markets, and role of treasury that's what you need to know and uh, uh, i will show you the book that has all these details you need to know about money market operations investments and fixed income securities their types and all that you also need to know about forex dealings okay and the syllabus detailed syllabus is available on iibf's website uh, what else you need to learn uh, which is what i'm going to show you in the subsequent slide uh, you need to know about derivatives that's an interesting area because uh, this covers mostly the fixed income derivatives and not equity or you know commodity kind of derivatives so it, it would be a really great thing for you to know uh, model uh, code and dealing ethics the moment you are a dealer you need to undergo what is called as a model code of conduct and uh, that's what you are supposed to follow because your dealing must be fair transparent and it should be following the compliance guidelines and you also need to know about time value of money and interest rate calculations of course if you see the detailed syllabus all these things are you know explained in much more detail than what i have shown just now but let me tell you one thing that you don't need to actually read fabozi fabozi is just too much for this exam uh, it says that you have to go through fabozi please don't do that that's not at all required let me tell you very clearly what you need to do is simple thing you need to buy this book which is treasury management i'm not promoting this book but this is a must or an essential book and this book is from taxman so taxman book uh, is something that uh, i'm very sorry this is from uh, uh, the book comes from uh, the publisher whose name has been listed here okay so you can buy it uh, from on the website you will see this uh, with the logo of uh, IIBF right so having said that uh, you can also uh, you know uh, look for one book that I have along with my colleagues have created and that particular book is the MCQ so what we have done is that we have kind of put more than 400 questions here in this particular book this is available online only 
you cannot buy this particular book in a you know physical copy this this has got a kindle edition so you can read it on your mobile by downloading some software okay so you can also have this particular book so the, the first book that i showed you which is certified treasury professional uh, you can look at that and then you can also buy this book uh, this book will give you a good number of questions to practice i hope this video made uh, some sense for you thanks for your time and please do uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel that would be really helpful thank you so much